So thanks again for that. So now it's my honor to, to bring up a, a guy that's been with me about four years. Wears a big old hat. He's known at our store as Lieutenant Dan. We've kidded him about that for a long time. His name badge now at the store even says Lieutenant Dan. And it's been fun. So ex-Army Ranger, uh, just an unbelievable career. We thank him so much for what he did and the things that he did for our country. So we'll we'll definitely honor him for that. But I'd like to bring him up. Those of you that were here last year, his, he was the video. And we thought that was the end of it. And he was doing great. And I'm going to let him tell you about a little setback that came during the year. But uh, you can see he's looking pretty good, though. So, Daniel, thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Um, so, as I came down, Channel 10 was here uh, interviewing me and asking me what's so special about the uh, Emerald Heart Ball. I, it really struck me that, you know, 20 years ago, people got together, and because of that, the, that giving, that, that sense of community, that they were um, able to really get involved with people and, and train them. I, I took the class and it identified that um, when, when I had my cardiac event, my first cardiac event, that I knew what to do and that we have an amazing um, medical facility here in this town. And, and so I wanted to, uh, if, if you're in, in any way involved with the, uh, any of the hospitals or doctors, nurses, please stand up. Please stand up and and, and um, be recognized. It's uh, so thank you, thank, thank you all. I, uh, um, like John said, I was uh, the survivor last year for the uh, heart ball, and and I think a lot of y'all we saw a lot of hands come up that uh, were here and saw the video. Um, four months after talking. Um, I had another cardiac event, um, and it was uh, this one was a very serious one. And uh, you know, I had a ton of support from from John and from the Street Automotive Group and my Volkswagen family. And um, you can read in the the, um, the handout there my amazing wife and what I put her through. Um, and I was able to make it through it and continue on because of a, uh, a, a very, very new device um, that our town uh, and our medical facility is, is capable of using. It was a pump that they inserted into my heart and kept me alive for 24 hours while um, everything was, you know, while he was able to go in and, and repair it. So it was an amazing thing. And so when I, when I answered the question from Channel 10 News, uh, when I came down, it, it really struck me that we've got an amazing town, amazing group of people um, that, that love to give and, and get involved. I mean, some of you, if we were to ask you how many years you go back of how many times you've attended this event, you would probably stand early and as it came on, there would be more and more and more people um, that would stand and, and wanted to be a part. And, and so I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you um, from everyone that's been uh, reached by it, by help, that's been helped by it. Um, thank you. And um, I'm sure here in a bit we'll be asking you for, for another way of, of helping. But um, from now a two-time survivor, thank you and thanks for coming out.